Hey, so this is a, a video about Don't Take Me Alive from Steely Dan. And I'm, I'm going to separate the, the whole... Uh, that whole uh, intro bit, he's in the beginning, he's just doing a... It's like a, a, a G major. Um, it's funny, I don't, don't really think about that. Actually, it's a G7. Uh, with um, a B flat on top there, uh, and then the the intro he has a nice little double stop band. We'll we'll talk about that in a second video, uh, but the solo is mostly based on C. My just play C blues uh, over that solo, so I'm going to kick off the distortion here and uh, talk about the chords to the tune. Um, oh, yeah, somebody mentioned that I had a video where I sometimes just make sure I'm in tune to my self and not really uh, 440. I'm a touch off here. Forgive me. So, uh, yeah, so it's very much based in C minor. And the verse comes in, uh, I just play it like this, like a little riff uh, based on C minor chord. So I play the root, and then I'm playing here the uh, A and D strings on the 10th fret. And then that's the uh, 8th fret, the, the uh, D and G strings. Sounds good with distortion, I guess. Uh, But that's that riff off of C minor, boom. And then down to G, and do the same thing. Uh, and then the ascending section is F minor 7. And then this is a uh, like a B flat with its fourth in the bass. So here we have X, uh, 6, 3, 3, 3, X. steps, that same shape. Something they did a lot, having the fourth in the bass, sometimes the two in the bass too, they did a lot, that a lot as well. And then it goes up a half step and a whole step. So we got call all those out so again that first one it was F minor 7 and then it goes to uh, B flat um, excuse me with E flat in the bass then we have a C with F in the bass then we have a D with G in the bass uh, and then E flat with A flat in the bass and then up a whole step uh, to F with B flat. And then it goes back again through the that little C minor and to G groove. Uh, and then that kind of B section they just jam on uh, C minor 7. I like playing this voicing up here. Even though later I'm going to kind of drop way down the neck, I play uh, rooted on the 6th string. So this is 8x888x. Uh, eight 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 um. dun, 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 dun. Up a whole step to D minor. Exact shape, except for now we're on the tenth fret, so it's 10x, 10, 10, 10, 10x, down to a G7. Uh, so that's 3x, 3, 4, 3x. And I like to do this little just before we drop down to the F minor chord. Uh, so what I've done there, you could look at it as a G7, but I raised the root, call it a flat 9, and I raised my fifth. 
up a half step to a sharp fifth. So we got. Then F minor seven. Uh, one, three, one, 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 one. G minor seven, just same thing up a whole step. Up a half step to A flat major. B flat major. C minor. So I'll do that kind of whole section. So it's uh, one three one 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 or F minor seven three five three 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 or G minor seven. And then we go to the major. So it's uh, A flat. So in this case we have four six six five four. And I'm not. I guess I'm not really always playing the high E string. Uh, same pattern up one whole step up on the sixth fret. And then a C minor 7, 8, 10, 8, 8, 8, 8. And that repeats that whole section. Now, on this bit where they go F minor, you hear that riff. When I'm playing solo guitar, I like to play the, the full voiced chords, but you hear them also doing this. Sorry. Riff, uh, so that's starting on the B string, uh, sorry, 8th fret, G string, 8th fret, and then D string, 10th fret. Take that lick up a whole step. And then uh, it's going to be the B string, G string, and D string on the 13th fret. Like an A chord shape, if you want. Up a whole step, same thing again. So it's uh, so um, so uh, let's see. Oh, you have this little interlude. Um, I kind of play it like this, and this is just a my interpretation. Uh, what I'm playing here is uh, I'm not playing the uh, E or A string at all. I'm playing uh, so it's X X ten ten eleven ten. And I'm just strumming that kind of arpeggiating, I guess. So. And here it's, we could look at this as. Um, Really, I'm looking at it more like a um, an F major. So that would be X X seven uh, five uh, six five. And I'm just adding in a G there. And then I just take it up a whole step from an F to a G. So, and then they cut right back into uh, this section where they, or the uh, the chords where you have the fourth in the bass. So in this case, it's C with F. They just go right to the C with F, uh, and then up a whole step. Flat with A flat in the bass, and then back into the uh, into the uh, main body of the tune. There, uh, the the solo on that is really nice. It's uh, I don't I just like the groove of the tune uh, in general, and I like I like the, it's so simple, but it sounds so good. That little. Oh, and it 
distortion just so it's a little bit clearer, but uh, it does sound good with a touch of uh, a touch of distortion. So again, if you're playing Steely Dan songs, then uh, you again you're you're definitely a intermediate at least player to do that. Um, and so hopefully you know it was descriptive enough for anybody who would be attempting that uh, that song. Uh, I mean, one of these days I'll get a little more hip and add the the text and maybe a couple of uh, download sheets or something like that, little lead lead sheets with some of the voicings uh, printed out. But uh, yeah, it's a great tune, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 